The Party for Socialism and Liberation (PSL) is a Marxist-Leninist political party in the United States, created as the result of a split within the ranks of the Workers' World Party (WWP). Peter Lindsay and Yari Osorio were PSL's 2012 presidential ticket. Gloria La Riva and Eugene Perrier ran for president and vice president on the PSL ticket in 2008 and 2016. Topic. History The PSL was formed when the San Francisco branch and several other members left WWP in June 2004, announcing that, "...the Workers' World Party leadership is no longer capable," of fulfilling the "...mission," of building socialism. Topic. Presidential candidate performance Ideology The party's goal is to lead a revolution paving the way towards socialism, under which a new government of working people would be formed. The PSL proposes many radical changes to be implemented by this government. In the political sphere, all elected representatives should be recallable, securing freedom of speech for the working class except in the case of xenophobia or bigotry and to prevent re-establishment of the capitalist system and the elimination of corporate influence from politics. The party's program states, "...achieving fully developed socialism, a goal that has not yet been achieved anywhere, will open the way to communism and the end of class society." Concerning economics, the PSL would among other measures prohibit the exploitation of labor for private profit, implement a working week of 30 hours and eradicate poverty through the introduction of a basic income guarantee. The PSL would grant the right of self-determination to what it considers oppressed nations of the United States, including African Americans, Native, Puerto Rican and other Latino national minorities, the Hawaiian Nation, Asian, Pacific Islander, Arab, and other oppressed peoples who have experienced oppression as a whole people under capitalism." It would grant independence to Puerto Rico, American Samoa, Guam, the Virgin Islands and the Mariana Islands, which it considers colonies. Historically, the PSL has a generally positive view of the Soviet Union, describing the October Revolution as the single biggest event that shaped global politics in the 20th century. The PSL acknowledges that the new economic policy of Vladimir Lenin led to a repolarization of social classes, especially in the countryside. The PSL blames the reforms initiated by Mikhail Gorbachev for the fall of the Soviet Union. The PSL supports Cuba and mourned the death of former Cuban President Fidel Castro. While critical of the current Chinese government, the PSL acknowledges China's contributions to socialism and anti imperialist struggle and it views the Chinese Revolution favorably. The PSL also supports the Bolivarian Revolution in Venezuela. It has endorsed activities that called for the release of the Cuban Five deemed political prisoners by supporters and called for the extradition of Luis Posada Carriles from the United States the PSL voiced solidarity with Nepal upon the overthrow of the monarchy and the 2008 election of Pushpa Kamal Dahal in the leninist tradition the PSL supports the right of nations to self-determination it has been outspoken in condemning Israel and its role in the Middle East the PSL led demonstrations against the Israeli invasion of Lebanon in July 2006 and supports the right of return for Palestinians. The PSL co-operates with other organizations across the United States in the anti-war movement and is a member of the steering committee of the Act Now to Stop War and End Racism Coalition as one of the most active members of the coalition, the PSL has gained notice for successfully forging ties with Arab and Muslim American groups such as the Muslim American Society, al ada and the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. The PSL advocates for the end of the United States military presence in Iraq, Afghanistan and Syria and the closure of all United States foreign military bases. Publications The party's main publication is the monthly newspaper, Liberation News, which replaced a quarterly magazine, Socialism and Liberation. 
The PSL outlines its political perspective, including its assessment of the current international and domestic situation, in the pamphlet Who We Are, What We Stand For. The party also owns its own printing company, PSL Publications, through which it has published multiple printed books such as Socialists and War, two opposing trends by members Mazada Majidi and Brian Becker and an e-book which was released through Amazon titled A Woman's Place is in the Struggle by members Anna Maria Ramirez, Anne Gamboni, Gloria La Riva and Liz Loengard. The PSL's publication company is headquartered at their West Coast office in San Francisco, California. The PSL now broadcasts a weekly podcast from their Chicago office called Crashing the System. See also List of political parties in the United States <laughs>